what's going on with T-Mobile? What are you announcing today? Well, we're excited. We just launched our new 600 megahertz campaign. Uh, it's called Share Intensely. Mm-hmm. In Spanish, of course. Uh, Comparte Intensamente. Uh, it's a series of five stories that we have developed uh, based on all the oversharers that we know in social media. Everybody has a friend that shares too much information, too many posts, too many selfies from the gym, too many pictures of their brunch every Sunday. And so it's something relatable that we wanted to take a poke at and just have a little fun with it. And so what are your expectations with this campaign? Well, our expectation, we're inviting everyone to come try our network for 14 days risk-free. If not, we'll return everything, like, like everything they had invested in tomorrow, we will return every single penny. Uh, we're so confident in our network that we're sure that people are going to love it. We launched a preview of this promotion in May 1st, and so far we have seen uh, an increment in 23% more importance to T-Mobile, especially those coming from AT&T. Those that justify paying a little more because they have a better network and they're fake by me, which still has a lot in this market. So you mentioned some numbers prior to showing the you know, the commercials that are associated with this campaign. Can you talk to us about, you know, percentage-wise, how T-Mobile is doing for Rico so far this year? Well, definitely. Uh, this year, year over year, we have increased our customer base by 13% already. So, I mean, after the hurricane, we just had this momentum, and we have just kept growing and growing, and so we have kept investing in our network to deliver, uh, you know, what, what we are here for, which is our network experience what people expect to receive from their provider, which is, I need to wear something now, I want to post something now, so they can do that. Okay, and then in terms of percentage, you mentioned that you have had overall growth, but the internet of things is what has shown the most growth. Well, percentage-wise, the internet of things category, you know, the wearables, tablets, uh, sync up, etc., has had the most growth because the course it started recently. So percentage wise it's grown thirty five percent. Which is impressive in the past year, which is right. impressive. Mm-hmm. And then is there another segment that's just as important behind the internet of things in terms of percentage growth? Well, I mean volume wise it's always voice. Voice is the primary service that we offer. So volume wise would be voice and then internet of things which compasses everything else. That's good. Thank you.